Hi, this is Graham Bray from Smart CPD Solutions. Welcome to Cam Studio 101 Lesson 2. In the first lesson of this course, I introduced the Cam Studio software and explained how to download it from the website. In this lesson, I want to give you a brief overview of the functions of Cam Studio and an introduction to various functions on the Cam Studio main panel. So, first of all, let's open up Cam Studio by clicking on the icon. first thing you notice is these three buttons here. The red button is used to start recording, the blue button stops recording, and the middle button is a pause button that allows you to pause and then resume recording. The next button along here allows you to toggle between different panel views. You can either see the whole panel as we have here, just the icons, and the main toolbar or just the icons themselves as we have here. But clicking on it again, keep clicking on the icon, and you can move between different options. The next icon calls up the various screen annotations that we'll consider later in the course. The last icon allows you to switch between recording in AVI format or SWF. Although as SWF produces a better quality product, it is not supported in YouTube or Viddler, so I prefer to keep the AVI option selected as shown by the record to AVI here. Let's have a brief look at the toolbar. Clicking on File brings up the same commands as the first three icon buttons. Record, Stop and Pause and there's also the option here to exit the program. Clicking on Region allows you to access three different options for the size of the screen recorded. Selecting Region allows you to use crosshairs to define the area to be recorded. Selecting Fixed Region opens a dialog box that allows you to precisely define in pixels the rectangular area you want to record and lastly selecting full screen as the name suggests means the whole screen will be captured. I'll demonstrate these options in more detail in lesson 3 in the next video. Clicking on options opens up a number of choices including setting up video and audio options, setting up the cursor and also allowing you to decide what happens when recording stops. In Lessons 4 and 5, I will go through all of these options. Clicking on Tools allows you to set up screen annotations and video annotations. To access the latter, you will need to have a webcam or video source. The SWF Producer gives you the facility to convert an AVI file to an SWF file. Clicking on View gives you the same options icon just below. To view the whole panel, to view just the icons and toolbar and compact view or the buttons alone. Finally, clicking on the help gives you access to Cam Studio tutorial, frequently asked questions, a link to the website and details about the software. So this concludes our introduction to software. In lesson three we'll be looking at how we can change the size of the recording region. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. This is Graham Bray from Smart CPD Solutions and thank you very much for watching.